Now, postponed today, the America's Cup was postponed today, but hopefully it will all happen tomorrow. One person who's not as into it as we are, people, is this man over here, Willie Jackson. Now, come on, Willie, is that fair comment? You're not quite oh, as no, into no, it as no, we? I'm not an America's Cup man at Why all. Why not? I, I, I'm a, a great admirer of Dalton, though, Grant Dalton, and a great admirer of Barker. You know, I think we've got a great team there, but I don't, I don't see the benefits that everyone else does. The Minister of Māori Affairs says it's going to be good for Māori businesses, kids are going to learn how to sail, mm. we're intrinsically linked to the moana as Māori, it's in our whakapapa. I thought Pete was a bit conflicted this morning, because I thought he was backing the young old Nathan there a bit, who'd smashed the America's <laughs> Cup, who obviously went too far. Uh, the thing is, they, they said that 25 years ago in 1987, and here we are in 2013, <clears throat> and we still have hardly seen uh, any benefits come through to Māori. Uh, you go to yacht clubs, you never see any Māori there at all. Uh, it was neat seeing that young woman, though, who, who fronted up, and she said, you know, Māori should just front up there, but some of these yacht clubs, they should encourage our people to come, because we're natural sailors. Look at Waka Ama, you know, and look yeah, at how... Yeah. And I, I just get... I suppose I get a bit um, irritated because I, I see our people at Waka Ama they're fantastic out there. They get no support. They get no sponsorship. They get nothing. Uh, the America's Cup, they get 36, 37 million, and they can afford uh, to do this thing themselves. So, look, good luck to the team. I hope they, I hope they win. Mm -hmm. Nothing against uh, the team, but you know, there's other things that are happening, and, and our people in Wakaama have been fabulous. Don't get the support. Touch, touch football. Don't get the support. Mm -hmm. And I want to see, um, I want to see that support for our people. It'd be great if Māori can get into yacht clubs. John Tamahiri said they're not. Welcome. That's what he's been saying. That's what he's Has said. he tried to get in there? Maybe it's just him. Maybe it's just him it's and, just and, young, <laughs> and young Nathan. But good luck to the team over there. But I'm not part of the rah 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 club, although it'd be good if they win tomorrow because the, this media stuff has been incredible, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Never mm -hmm. seen anything like it's it. It's a machine. It's a machine. Now, someone who's doing well for us is uh, Porto Williams down in the Christchurch by election. What's happening there? Congratulations to Porto Williams. She's the new candidate for um, Christchurch, East for uh, Christchurch East for Labour. Um, that was fantastic, uh, uh, her getting the decision. You know, we've, I've always been a critic of Labour because I've said you've never ever put a Māori in a safe general seat. And finally, Louisa Wall got Manu, Manu Dewa, and well done to Louisa. And now we've got this other Māori woman coming through. So now we've got two Māori women in safe general seats. She's got a real community background. And it's, it, it signals a bit of a change in Labour, doesn't it? And because do you think this is coming from Cunliffe? Um, Cunliffe has got a bit of a background there, and well done to Cunliffe. You know, we talked about it last weekend. Um, he went, uh, and I didn't realise he'd gone down to do a bit of a mihi to Tainui last Sunday. Mm. He's got a strong um, bond with Māori. He talks about the treaty partnership, treaty relationship. I don't think he would have made the final decision. The locals uh, would have made it, but it's great to see Puto coming through. You know, I want to see more Māori come through in... in, in in these positions where they were f formally shut out. You know, who knows? Mm. Scotty Morrison the, might put his name. <laughs> yeah. David Cunliffe's already said he wants all of the Māori seats back at yeah. Labour. Yeah, he's got a way... part of the strategy? Well, that, this, is the, this is the start. The Jones, Going to Tainui as well, part yeah, of the strategy? Yeah, the Jones stuff uh, it was also... Jo Shane uh, performed really well. He wants all the Māori seats back. He's still got some way to go because uh, we, we don't see any unity in that Māori caucus, mm. right? You've got Māori women who actively oppose Shane Jones. So before they can ask for the Māori vote in terms of the Māori seats, they've got to have the sort of Māori vote together in their own caucus. Uh, and so this, it's going to be uh, fascinating to watch who gets the front bench this week. Mm. Um, Shane Jones will get in the top five. Will Nanaia Mahuta get in the, in, on the front bench? I would think so. One, one would think that Nanaia would get up there. Given then that, you're going to have her and Shane on the front bench. Well, it's going to be conflicted, isn't it? They've got to get over it. <laughs> they got to get it. <laughs> Can they, they get over it? Well, though? I don't know. It's, it's up to those two. But, you know, just for me, looking on the outside, Jones is a certainty, but why shouldn't Nanaia Mahuja get in there also, given her great support for... Uh uh, for Cunliffe all the way through and she, she good on her I mean I criticised her for that but she stuck with him my view now is she must be rewarded and I want to see her on that front bench not in the middle because if she's not on the front bench we've only got one Does the Māori Party have to start building relationships with Labour now to survive? They have to start building relationships with Labour uh, and with National, although I think they're fixed to National. I think mm -hmm. I think that's very well, clear. Well, you, you can sort of hear that coming from <coughs> couples this morning. I mean, some of those lines that he was saying about the America's Cup sound yeah. like they're coming from John Key and National. Yeah, He's well, towing the, the National yeah, Party I mean, lines. Well, Pete's got to run the, 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 this business there for, for Māori and, and all that. But mm -hmm. I
but I think Pete's a bit conflicted because he feels like you give 36 million to the America's Cup, but what about uh, what about the poor in South Auckland and West Auckland? So he understands the Benjamin Nathan's frustrations. But the Māori Party have to start building relationships, uh, I think, with the Labour Party also. But they're not doing that. They're sticking. Well, they're sticking, sticking with, with national, national yeah. and, and and that's the problem. And that's going to be to their detriment of, at the next election. Um, it, could, it could well be because Cunliffe's on a bit of a high. You know, everybody's recognising. You better how. get in there and start advising them, William. I don't. No, I don't think Cunliffe, <laughs> Cunliffe David is very interested. No, no, in the Maori party. The Maori party. Oh no, they're not interested. <laughs> in my view, yeah. You know, I've been, I've been shut out like this yeah, is your no. only platform. <laughs> isn't that's it? Right. Your view. Could be shut out here too. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll we'll watch that closely. But yeah. but it was it was interesting watching Pete today with uh, Mitty. Yeah, I, yeah. I think a bit conflicted there mm -hmm. because you know he knows that our people want to see benefits coming Definitely. back. Whether the America's Cup is the way to go, that's the real question. That's the real question. Thank you very much, William. Indeed. Thanks.